Would you be turning your Bibles to the book of John, chapter 13? Good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. We're thankful that we're able to be here. and We're thankful that we can come and participate in the service and uh, read some of the scriptures and sing some of the songs and just praise His holy name. In chapter 13, verse 31, Jesus is, um, has uh, just told them about, or it's just about, about Judas is here, but in verse 31 of chapter 13, therefore when he was going out, Jesus said, talking about Judas is here, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. And uh, I got to thinking about this glorification uh, and what some of my notes down in the Bible read. And, and of course, the glorif glorifying of Jesus was that he was crucified. And God, was, God got the glory also. And so Jesus was crucified for our sins, and he was glorified by the Father. And, and the Father was glorified in him, so it's... It, it's a it's a it's a it's a strange thing to think about. You 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 having a son that is dying for the sins of the world, but yet you're getting glorified for it. But listen, Amen. they're in a far different circle from we are. Amen. They see the whole picture of everything, and God knew this morning that, or He knew that if Jesus Christ did not go to the cross and. Uh, uh, die for the sins of the world that it would be a lost world and this is what Jesus came for and he said uh, in places in the Bible this was the reason that he came was for the the being crucified on the cross and for uh, telling the world the word so he said here now is the son of man glorified and God is glorified in him if God be glorified in him God shall also glorify him in, in himself and shall straightway go uh, glorify him. So Amen. we see here that there's a glorifying on both sides. And uh, I want you to turn with me just for a second here, and then we'll be right back. But in the book of Philippians, <laughs> in chapter 2, and verse 1, we want to read something there to you talking about this glorification. In verse uh, 1 of chapter 2 of the book of Philippians, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercy, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Amen. Let nothing be done, and he's talking about anything that we do uh, to honor and glorify the Lord. He says here, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind that each esteem others better than themselves. Amen. Looking not, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took on him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. And so we get back to our lesson now here this morning, and this is why this why, this is why one of the reasons why that that Jesus could go to the cross, he could glorify uh, God, and God could would glorify him. And so now he said here in verse thirty three, little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto unto the Jews, whether I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you. So he had already told the Pharisees and all of them when they, when the Pharisees heard them glorifying Jesus and talking, and he had already he told them there and then. He says, "I go, uh, I go away, and and uh, you can't find, you can't go with me." 
And so that's over in chapter 7 and uh, verse 32. So if sometimes you want to make a mark, I know not write it down, but you can. But uh, verse 34, I want to get to this. A new covenant, uh, a new commandment have I unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Amen. And so it's the same way this morning with God being glorified in Jesus and Jesus being glorified in God. They love one another. And he's asking us this morning that you love one another as I have loved you and that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples and if if men can see or people can see uh, the love of God in you that glorifies God Amen. And, it, and it makes God uh, uh, proud of you or, or, or glorifies you and so he says that ye are my disciples if ye have loved one another and so the, the thing that the thing that's so great here is the love that Jesus Christ had and and that he voluntarily came to this world uh, and, and 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 to please his father and he 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 took all of these things upon him the the torments of men slapping him pulling his beard, spitting on him, uh, and, and saying every false thing that they could about him, he took it. And listen, people, uh, I was studying that this, uh, yesterday, and I thought, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that Jesus was in the flesh and that, that he made the flesh do this. But listen, my, I, you know, I, I, my flesh is weak. Hmm. And uh, when somebody slaps me, the first thing flies up in my face is uh, what I can do to stop them or what I can do to, to uh, uh, hurt them in some way. And listen, that was not Jesus' thought at all. Amen. He, yeah. he, he had that love, and, uh, and God was glorified in it, and everything, every nail that was put in his hand and his feet, uh, uh, all, uh, dropping him down in the hole, and, and, and all of that, even while when he was dead, when that spear went up in his side, listen, there was no, there was no anger there. Amen. It was, it was a perfect person. And so here we see again, Peter, uh, Simon Peter, uh, questioning Jesus. And uh, Peter said unto him, Lord, whether goest thou? And Jesus answered him, whether I go, thou cannot follow me now, but... Thou shalt follow me afterwards. And, and, and of course we know what Peter said unto the Lord. Why cannot I follow thee? I will lay down my life for thee for thy sake. And I believe this morning when Peter said that he meant it. Right. But listen, it was not to be that way. And you've got to understand that the flesh in Peter was not no comparison to the flesh in Jesus Christ. Because Peter's flesh was sinful. Jesus Christ's flesh was not sinful. Amen. And so this morning, he said here, uh, Jesus told him this, and he was not he was not condemning him, but he was just telling him what was going to happen. And Jesus answered him, Well, if thou lay down thy life for my sake, verily, verily, I say unto you, the cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. And, of course, this morning, this uh, there is a promise in this in these scriptures here notice in verse 36 whether i go thou cannot follow me now but thou shalt follow me afterwards and a lot of people might seem to think that peter because he denied the christ fell from grace of course they there's people that believe that but listen there's a promise here that you peter you're going to follow me afterwards you're going to go to the you're going to go to the same place that I'm, you're going to be with me. And that's a promise. And so you notice here, he said, uh, and Jesus, Jesus answered him, and, and well, in, in verse 38, in the, and the, the cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. And so Peter had this promise. That, and, and this, this morning, should be an encouragement to us, uh, even though we sin. And listen, we sin. Right. And we sin, and we sin, and we sin. 
it's the nature of the flesh to sin. Right. And but there's there is a promise this morning that Jesus Christ has already went and he we're going to see in a minute where he's he's preparing us a place. And listen, we have an invitation to come. We have a promise from God and from the Lord Jesus Christ that we're going to be with him in, that, in his kingdom uh, through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, in verse 1 of chapter 14, let not your hearts be troubled. And this morning, and, and uh, you know, hearts are troubled. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are every Sunday morning. Hearts are troubled because, listen, on Sunday morning, the devil has always got his part he wants to play in your life. And you can say what you will, but listen, he's always there. He's always there at the house, the page house. Mm -hmm. And listen, he's in a, he'll, he'll, he'll aggravate, he'll interfere, or he'll cause something to go on and, and get you kind of upset a little bit. But listen, he says here to Peter, let not your heart be troubled because I, I told you you're going to deny me and, and this. Let not your heart be troubled because, listen, he says here, and he's already told me, he, he, he said, you can, come, you can come after me, Peter, but he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now notice, in my Father's house are many mansions. Amen. If it were not so, if it were not so, I would have told you. Now what does he say? I go to prepare a place for you. And so there's a double whammy there. He's, he's told him, he's given him the promise, you're going to follow me afterwards. And he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And listen, that's not for only for Peter. As, and Jesus said that in, in one of the uh, scriptures there where he said that, that uh, those that believe on the apostles' prayers and, and believe on their teachings and all, they, will, they, will, they can do the same thing as the apostles did. So, uh, uh, he says here, it, and if I go, and we know that he went, and prepare a place for you, and we certainly believe that because he said he was going to, I will come again. Amen. Another promise. Listen, he's, he's, he's ready. He's ready at a, at a, at a, at a moment's notice. God can say, go get my children. And listen, he don't stutter. He won't look back and say, what time, what, he's gone. Amen. And he'll appear in the clouds. And, and, and you notice in Matthew's gospel there when the, uh, the last chapter in Matthew, when he, just, uh, I'm not saying Acts 1, for he ascended up and, and they were standing there looking. And these two angels were there. And they said, why are you looking up? The same way that he left, the same way he's going to come back. Amen. And listen, he came, went up, and was taken up into a cloud and the, out of his sight. And listen, it's going to be the same way, people. Amen. He's going to come back, and he's going to say, come up hither. Uh, it's your time. Come on. And so this morning, this is a promise from the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And so we're not going to be uh, on the sideline somewhere and Jesus and God over here having a good time and we're doing this. We're going to be with them. It's, it's not going to be like down here. Mm -hmm. We're going to be with him and we're going to enjoy the wonders of heaven eternally. It's not for a million years, but it's eternity. Amen. And so, uh, and that's that's uh, that's a little bit farther than I can go. But uh, I mean, that's how it's going to be. Amen. Because the Bible says it so. But He says, and whether I go, you know, and the way you know. So, Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way. Amen. The way is the blood. And he said, I am the truth, which is uh, in chapter 17, verse 17. I will read this to you because it tells about a wheat of corn, a corn wheat. <coughs> 
17, I believe it is, 3. Let me look and make sure. 17, 3. It falleth into the ground. I'll get to you in a minute here. 17, 3. These pages are so close. There it is. 17, 3. Now we're going to get to it in just a minute. Okay, these words, look at 1, verse 1, 17, 1. These words spake Jesus, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may also may glorify thee. Thou, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they might know thee, and the only truth, true God and the Lord Jesus Christ in my sin. And I want to read something else to you. You just bear with me just a minute and, I, and I'll, uh, I'll do something else. I want, to, I want to read you another scripture about the, the, the brain. I had it down here. Maybe it's 11. 11, 31, 32, 33, 33. We'll try that and see what that is. Oh, uh, no, I didn't get it. But anyway, here it is. Jesus said unto them, if a grain of a grain of wheat or a, a corn of wheat does not fall into the ground, speaking of his of his uh, crucifixion and his burial and his resurrection, if that grain of wheat does not fall into the ground and stay there and it and it and dies, uh, it will, it will not raise again. But he says here that it, it and it and it don't need well I'm sure you when the corn of wheat falls into the ground and dies, its faith its faith it it it, it abides alone. But when it when it uh, when it's put in the ground, it raises up as like Amen. Jesus Christ. What I, I'm 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 I, I'm going to say. Let me read just a minute. I, I, I'm 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 fighting this this morning. Please please. please. Uh, 426, I got you now. <laughs> Jesus said, uh, no, this is something else. Well, anyway, this is how, this is what I wanted you to see this morning in this scripture uh, that I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to teach this morning about this grain of wheat. And it, it, it's, a, it's a type of Jesus Christ and what Jesus Christ did. And he says, if it's, if it's, if it, if it does this, it will come forth and bring forth more fruit and talking about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, this is what I, I'm... Uh, it's uh, 1223. 1223. All right. We'll get to that. Yeah, here it is. Very, very I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. Talking about like Jesus Christ. It abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. And so here he says, He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my service be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Amen. So he said this, and then back in our lesson this morning in 13, chapter uh, 14. Uh, <clears throat> so here he says again, the life, there's the way, the truth, and the life. And that's the life that Jesus Christ led. Uh, and and, and it's, it's mentioned in Hebrews and 9, 22. 9 11, I'm sorry, I won't get to that, uh, and I'm going to read that if, it, uh, if I can possibly do it. 9 11, notice. But Christ, being come a high priest of good things to come, to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not with this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but of his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, 
having obtained eternal redemption for us. Amen. For if the blood, and, and this is one of the things that he's speaking of, uh, if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of heifers sprinkling the unclean sanctify to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ Amen. through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot of, to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God and I, I hope this morning that these things that I'm reading to you this morning will will, uh, will, will, will mean something to you I know I stammered and stuttered and everything in this world but listen uh, uh, it's it's the truth here this morning. It's the way this morning, and it's Amen. the life. And so he says, no man, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And this Jesus, in verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father. And they can, they can, they can give man the honor. They can give uh, uh, these gods that they can build, these... Uh, uh, things that they can worship, they can give them that. And, and listen, there's a world of them this morning that are honoring um, uh, statues and wooden things and, and uh, rocks and things like this. But listen, it's all of them. And they'll, they'll, uh, they'll understand one day that they was wrong. Amen. But now notice in verse 7, If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also and from henceforth you know him and have seen him philip saith unto him lord show us the father and it's, it's it was so would be sufficient or suffice for us jesus said unto him i have been so long time with you and yet thou has not known me philip he that has seen me has seen the father Amen. and how sayest thou show us thou then show us the father Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. And you know, it's, it's, it's hard to understand uh, through a, physical, uh, a fleshly mind how that they can be one but yet be separate. Uh, and, and, and they were they were just they were they were identical in their belief in, in all of their things that they did they were they were complete together in everything and he's he's saying this very very I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Amen. That the Father may be glorified. There it is. Glorified in the Son. So these things, again, that you ask of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ, and when you pray in the name of Jesus Christ to the Father, and these things happens to you, you remember when you see a prayer answered, that it's glorifying God. Amen. Jesus did it because you ask and because it glorifies the Father. And so when when we have a when we have a request, a prayer that we will answer, it's because that we ask, ask this in the name of Jesus Christ to God. And God lets it happen. Or Jesus lets it happen to glorify the Father. And listen, back when we was reading that, then God glorifies His Son. Amen. I mean, listen, people, it's it's love, love, love. It's all love. And here He says, uh, uh, back in uh, verse one, "Let not your hearts be troubled." And this this morning, what will what will solve a, tr a troubled heart is love. Amen. And and you you just you, that's that's the only thing you can go to the doctors you can go to the lawyers you can go to the psychics or whatever but listen love will solve your problem amen and and you say well how does that well listen when you love someone 
and, 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 and I can give an example of that. When Jesus was on the cross and when he was uh, uh, walking uh, through for 33 years and, uh, and all of these things that happened to him, he still loved those people enough to go to the cross of Calvary and die for them. Those that spit on him, those that cursed him, those that did everything that they could, he still loved them enough. He loved them. And that's perfect love. Amen. There, there, there's, nothing, there's nothing that can, can outdo perfect love. And so, again this morning, in verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that ye may abide with that he may abide with you forever. And this is the Holy Spirit, that's even the Spirit of truth, whom the Lord cannot receive, whom and whom the Lord, and whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him no not, neither knoweth him, but he know him. But, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Amen. And this morning, uh, there's, there's nothing no greater this morning than to feel the Holy Spirit working in your Amen. heart. And listen, some, sometimes, I mean, it, it just gets, it gets to the point of where that uh, you can't hardly, uh, you, you just can't, you just have to just listen. And, uh, it, it's, it's sometimes it gets it gets to, to the point where that uh, you yearn for it because but when you do get it it's it's the most encouraging thing Amen. that you can have is to have the Holy Spirit speak to your heart and to say things to you that you've never understood before that you just could not could not put your finger on it but when he comes to you. And he tells you these things, and he shows you this through his marvelous way of telling you the truth. And your spirit listens to that. There ain't nothing no better. Amen. I, I, there, there's nothing no better. And so this morning, uh, I hope that this, these things that, that I'm talking to you about, uh, uh, that, you, that you think on them, because it's all love. But he says now, in verse 18, I will not leave you. Comfortless, I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. And so Amen. we we this morning see the, the the Christ, our Savior Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit deals what He lives within us and He deals with our spirit and He shows us these things. And He says, at that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself unto him. <coughs> what else can you ask for? Right. Ain't nothing else you can ask for. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ did it all. And he promises here, he said, that he would manifest himself and the Father would manifest himself to us through the Holy Spirit. And so there's nothing, there's nothing no more that can encourage a person this morning than to love one another and understand this morning that in this old flesh there's no good whatsoever. It's, there's nothing in it. Listen, it, it, it's, it's sinful. Mm -hmm. And it's never, it's never been saved, and it's sinful, and it has a desire to sin. Amen. But one day, people, one day, this old flesh is going to die, Amen. and it's going to pay for that sin that it's done. And listen, then it's going to raise a glorified body, and then and then only will this flesh be like our spirit, and we will be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so that's when... That's when the love, uh, that's when the love will be so thick that you can't walk in it. And it'll be, it'll just be, it'll be wonderful. And so this is our lesson this morning. Uh, I hope that something that's been said here, that will uh, read here, that will, will encourage you. Uh, Amen. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a hard time out there. And, uh, uh, and not only 
uh, in the world, but it's it's a, it's just a hard time, and 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 the devil is the devil is on the rampage, and he knows he has for a short time, and, and that's that was written years and years and years and years ago, uh, but he knows he's only have but a short time, and so when he gets on the case, when he starts aggravating you, when he starts uh, causing you to think things that you shouldn't think, just know. That one day, you can tell him, well, one day, you'll pay the price. Mm -hmm. And he knows it, but he won't, he won't accept it. So thank you all so much for the time to listen. Listen.